Hello friends, what is so special about carbon ceramic bikes and what makes it so good and expensive? I am going to tell you in this video. The use of carbon ceramics was initialized in the space research and is used for making a surface that is capable of work against the immense heat that is generated at the time of re-entering into the Earth's atmosphere. From the industry of space research, the carbon ceramic technology has been stepped down into the automotive industry at the year of 1976 and the carbon carbon braking system was used in Formula 1 motorsports at the end of that decade. But by using a pure carbon carbon braking system, there is a lot of demerits which prevents it from using in the practical normal road cars. These are, it does not work well under cold condition and at wet weather, which a normal condition for a road car. And it have very short life because at high temperature, the carbon will oxidize quickly and it will lead to high wear rate. And it is very expensive to maintain as well. So we must find a solution for that and the solution was carbon ceramics. The advantages of carbon which is the high strength and the durability of the ceramic. By combining the carbon and ceramic we will find a highly durable machine which is the carbon ceramic brake which have high oxidation resistance at high temperature, high heat resistance and with very low wear rate. So it is the final solution. The conventional cast iron discs are very heavy and at the same time they wear out very quickly at very high temperature but ceramics in the other hand handle smoothly at a temperature at about 1830 degree fan heat as well and it have very high heat resistance carbon ceramic disc provides a longer life which is 16 times higher than a normal disc how these brakes are made let's check First we need to make the carbon fiber. The disc factory prepares the fiber by mixing raw carbon and heat molded resin. And the mixing will result in the carbon fiber powder. And this powder will be led to a mold. And the molding process is a two stage process. And it is done in layer by layer. The large press combats the mixture by ramming. And inside the mold will be pressed and heated to form a plastic. So, then it will be lead to a cooling process where it is cooled down to the normal room temperature. The CNC machine then smoothen the rough area of the molded disc ring and put ventilation hole and it is heated again so it transforms from plastic to carbon. Then we will take a high heat resistant container and we will put the carbon disc inside the container and supply uh, the silicon powder through a tunnel into the center of the disc and we will supply the disc to a furnace to heat it up to a temperature above 3000 degree Fahrenheit which will melt the silicon powder to form and we will supply a suction into the mold system so the melted silicon ceramic will be spreaded all over the disc to provide high heat resistance and strength to the carbon disc. It creates an exceptionally hard material called silicon carbide. After building a mounting hall, the disc will be coated with an antioxidant paint for preventing the carbon from getting oxidized at high temperature, which then eventually increase the lifespan of the carbon ceramic brake disc. A circular component in the middle which connects the brake disc is fitted to complete the rotor, and the bell is made of stainless steel or aluminium. Now the brake disc provides significant weight saving, much longer lifespan, wide temperature tolerance and reduced stopping distance. So now it is ready to fix to the car. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day and bye.